All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about three different things. We're going to talk about converting the ratio to a fraction. We're going to talk about list the physical nature of the concentration. And then we're also going to give the units for each part of the fraction. So all a ratio is, it's just, it's, a ratio is a fraction. So if you ever see the colon, all you'll have to do is you'll just have to turn the colon into a fraction. So for convert ratio to a fraction, you have 1 over 50. When you list the physical nature of the concentration, they're wanting to know what you're measuring. So when you're measuring, so what does the W represent and what does the V represent? So that's going to be weight. The W is going to be weight per volume. So weight per volume. And that's what the WV means. Whenever you see a, a ratio, it's always either going to be one of the three. It's either going to be weight to volume, weight to weight, or volume to volume. So I'll go ahead and underline those right there. So weight to volume, weight to weight, and volume to volume. Okay. Now the weight, you always want it to be in grams. So if it's not in grams, convert it to grams. It might be in milligrams, it might be in kilograms, but when you want to calculate it, you always just want to change it to the grams. And for volume, you always want it to be in milliliters or mLs. And so if it's in liters or microliters, um, you're always going to want to convert it to milliliters. And so when you give the units for each part of the fraction, you're just going to say, okay, well, that's weight. So with the weight, it's going to be grams. So with the weight, it's grams, and the volume is going to be milliliters. So it's going to be grams per milliliters. And so that is how you would do that one right there. Now, for this one, for this one right here, we'll go ahead and label this 2, and this 1, 3, and 4. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So if you wanted to convert the 1 16 to a fraction, what would you do? That's right, you would just change the colon to a fraction. Change the divided sign, so it's 1 to 16. Now, what does a ratio mean? Ratio let me go ahead and touch on this real quick, but a ratio is going to be one part of this and 16 parts of this. So if you had, um, let's just say you had two grams of one thing and seven grams of the other thing, that's going to be a ratio. Two to seven. So for B, what are going to be the physical nature of the concentration? So weight to weight is going to be grams to grams. Okay, and then give the units for each part of the fraction. So grams is going to be measured in... Oh, well, I gave you that answer. Well, I'll go ahead and switch these two. So C is going to be weight to weight. And you can compare the ratios if you're making cookies or if you're making bread, um, and there's ever going to be maybe three cups of flour and one cup of sugar you're going to have three cups of flour for every one cup of sugar. And so your ratio, your sugar to flour ratio, would be three to one. And so that's just a good way to remember that. So now go ahead and practice three and four on your own and see if that makes a little more sense.